kind of see how this works for Nearpod. What you can do as the teacher, so you have your computer at your desk, if you find an answer you really like to a question, I can share it anonymously. So obviously you see who said this, but it should pop up on your screen how they answered the question. So that's kind of a neat way to get your kids involved. Kids usually get excited, even though it's anonymous. They usually say, oh, this one. Really good. <laughs> that's like, okay, there you go. That's for the record. There you go. <laughs> so you can share different peoples. And again, it should change on your screen. So just kind of a neat interactive way for a presentation. So what is a QR code? You've probably seen these around your school building. This is a quick response code. So you see these at grocery stores, you see these on posters. Um, every time you walk by Mr. Spielmanner's room, you see these plastered everywhere. So quick response codes. This is basically a shortcut to a website, a shortcut to an email address, a shortcut to a text. So something that a kid can scan or you can scan and it takes you to something else. What's really nice about these is that you don't have to sit there and type in the URL. So it doesn't take near as long. So if I wanted to do a Nearpod and do it quickly, my kids would just scan it and it would take them directly to the site. I wouldn't have to say go to nearpod.com, uh, enter in this code, yada, yada, yada. So it's kind of a shortcut and it's a nice way to get kids involved. I like to use QR codes because I know my high schoolers are going to be on their cell phones. So if I can get them to use their cell phone in a meaningful way, it makes class a lot more bearable for them, it makes class more bearable for me, and I feel like they're actually learning something. Who can scan a QR code? This isn't only neat for your students, this is also really neat for parents. It's a nice thing for colleagues to have, for employers to have. Um, I don't know if anybody has recently done a resume or seen a resume. A lot of the times now, people will include QR codes. So QR codes that take you directly to their website, QR codes that take you to their email, things like that. So these are popping up more and more, so it's good to kind of know what they are and what purpose they have. Also neat for parents, so if you ever send a letter home to parents, if you ever send an email out to parents, and you want to include a link to homework help or a link to progress book, you can do that with a QR code. Where can you find a QR code scanner? So what I would like you to do on your cell phones, if you have a cell phone here or an iPod or something like that, I want you to download a QR code scanner. Some of you might already have them. If you have a barcode scanner, that will work. But what you can do, you can type into your app store, QR reader. Okay, what's neat about this as well is you can download these onto tablets. Um, anything that has a camera. So I know a lot of us have Chromebooks, we have tablets, different things with cameras in our classrooms or around our buildings. These can be downloaded quickly onto those as well. Benefits of QR codes in your classroom. Again, what's really nice about this is it's quick, it's easy, it can take kids to these sites, it encourages communication, collaboration. Because I use the same one. So some of the things I do in my classroom, I do a lot of station work or a lot of work where I have my students actually get up and scan QR codes and you'll be amazed at who actually starts talking to who. So it's just kind of nice. It's a nice way to get kids up and moving. I'll get you up and moving in a little bit, which I know you won't like, but I am sorry. I'm trying to make it fun and interactive. You said station work. And we'll talk more about ways to use it. So if you have used QR codes in the classroom, I know a lot of you haven't, but if you have, how have you done it? 